really have no expectations. You, you don't know what to expect. You just keep an open mind and and then things just happen the way they're meant to happen. And I have zero regrets. Um, I'm so glad that despite the challenges with my travel that I persevered and mm -hmm. figured it out and I arrived here and I knew other than the, well, you know it's going to be mozzies. Um, you know, it really has been life-changing. The, the connections that I've made, the relationships that I've established. I've met some of these women before, but to me, but online, but to meet in person. It's just like, wow, I feel like I've known these women forever. Yeah. And, and I feel like I'm going to go home a changed person in a profound way and and every time I come to one of these things that's what I leave with it's like I, I leave with a whole new lease on life I, I leave with connections that I know are significant expecting at all and I think that first of all a it really pushed me outside of my comfort zone which is a good thing to do because it's easy just to get complacent and you're in your happy comfortable space and and movement and getting back into an exercise program is something that I'm really committed to. This was my weekend to get my shit together and get my mindset about getting back into my exercise program. So doing a kick-ass really level of difficulty was high for me for that hike. That was kind of like the kick-off. That's like the kick-off. Mm -hmm. And so that, that was really good. It was a lot harder, but I, I did it. And the fact that I did it, that mm. despite the difficulty, physically and I was worried about tripping over the rocks that was fine I knew I could do it mm -hmm. um, and the, you know it just kind of reaffirmed this concept that you know life will sometimes throw you a curveball what are you going to do are you going to catch that ball are you going to drop it are you going to drop it and walk away in a huff or are you going to bend down pick it up and keep going